Buenos dias, Zamboanga. Welcome sa Kapiyan na Zamboanga sa SM City Mean Bro. Hatid sa inyo ng Philippine Information Agency, Mindanao Communicators Network, SM City Mean Pro, MCTV, at E-Media. We are live at PIA Western Mindanao Facebook page and other government agencies' Facebook pages, One TV Philippines, Isa TV Channel 17, PCH Cable TV, and via cable televisions in Zamboanga City at MCTV and E-Media. And it's that time of the year again for the month of of October, especially po dito sa Zamboanga City where we celebrate the grandest festival dito sa, sa ating uh, lungsod. Kaya we will celebrate po muli yung ating Hermosa Festival 2023. And we have with us the City Tourism Officer po ng Zamboanga City. Let's welcome Miss Asarita Sebastian Hernandez. Hola, buenos dias sa todos. Buenos dias con el Diatun Televiewers and also our viewers from the different platform. Thanks for having me here. Okay, so we are very happy to have you with us, Mom, especially with the coming celebration po dito sa Zamboanga City, which is our Zamboanga Hermosa Festival. So what are we looking forward for the celebration this year? And, uh, you know, uh, last year when we had that, uh, galing tayo sa pandemic. So that, medyo uh, tame siya a little. But this year, our mayor, John Dalipe, would really want it to be en grande. And uh, as much as possible, we really want to cover the different sectors of the city. You know, this uh, celebration must be inclusive uh, in nature so that we already did our groundworks. And of course, the celebration slogan is Celebración de Colores. Que quiero decir... We represent the different uh, colorful uh, tribes, the different uh, colorful cultures that we have in Zamboanga City. Thus, we maintained with the Celebración de Colores. Now, for the city alone, we have more than 20 events. Yeah, that's a lot. And uh, I'm very happy because the private sector is uh, cooperating and supporting us as well. So that all in all, we will have more than 50 festival events in Zamboanga City. And mind you, we will do all the activities from October 1st to October 15. Because we don't want to get caught up with the upcoming barangay elections. You know? We want the security group to really focus on the festival activities on those dates and then hopefully there will be a lot of uh, visitors which I'm expecting on those dates. So for that 15 days, ma'am, asigat kita suksuk no todo di atun mga activities and events for the from October 1 to October 15. Oh yeah, in fact, uh, some pre pre may pre fiesta na, yeah. okay? So meron mga September pa rachada na sila. Yeah. And then yeah, like what I said, the the last uh, event would be Hermosa T, that's the Mayor's Golf Cup Tournament, on October 14 and 15. Now, we have invited uh, golfers from the different golf clubs in the Philippines. And uh, I understand that uh, there will be a Spaniel who will be coming over, a group of uh, Spaniel, to participate in the Hermosa T. That's just one of the highlights of the Hermosa Festival. And of course, um, the other highlights po is the usual no, that we really look forward is the regatta, the Zamboanga, oh, yeah. our street dance competition. So that's still there. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, in fact, the street dance, we, we have two categories. One is Zamboanga base and the other is uh, it's an open competition. So hopefully there will be participants from the other, you know, cities or provinces. And uh, yes, we have invited uh, the different provinces under Zamboanga Peninsula. And it's an open competition and of course the Parade of Float. But you know what's unique about this one is that during the opening salvo, we are working together with UZ, Universidad de Zamboanga, si? Porque they will be celebrating, I think it's the 75th anniversary of the school. And uh, from that alone, UC is, you know, we're, we're glad that uh, we will be working hand in hand with UC because they, my God, their preparation is so, so big. And yeah, we will have the opening salvo on, the, on that time. 
So it's the best time also na it is to get uh, it is celebrated together with the Zamboanga Mosa Festival. Yes. So we yes. are really looking forward no for the la a lineup of activities. I believe it was it, it was already posted na di aton mga social media pages, the lineup of activities kaya um, we can see that, that Zambongenos and even our tourists are excited also to yeah. participate in the activities. Exactly. Yes. Uh, we did some teasers yes. and, uh, well, every now and then we will be releasing the pub mat mm. for the Fiesta Hermosa and uh, for our compoblanos, si también mga turista y visita, they can just check the Turismo Local de Zamboanga Facebook account. You mentioned earlier that the theme will be um, colores, no? It, it's the, the slogan. It's the, yes, the Celebration slogan. De Celebration colores. de colores. And you would like to highlight the different culture, the diverse culture of uh, Zamboanga City. So, how are the activities po in line no, with the culture of Zamboanga City? What are the prepared or how can we showcase the culture of Zamboanga through these activities? Well, you know, one of the highlights is the regatta. Yeah. And uh, everybody knows uh, the participants as far as regatta is concerned. You know, we have the different IPs that we have here in, uh, in Zamboanga. And uh, primarily that event is meant for them. That's one, okay? Now the other thing, last year we, we launched another program as far as uh, on the context of fashion and style and design. Apart from the mascota, which is very Espanol, is, uh, we have the baju. Yes. Okay. That was um, also started last year, yes. last festival. During the time of Mayor John Dalipe already. So for this year, we will be focusing on the Subanon uh, group. And, uh, you know, we really invited uh, a leader from the Subanon tribe. To really guide us, guide the designers, we really want authentic design that would be acceptable to the tribe. You know, we, we really want respect here. Cultural, uh, you have to be culturally conscious about what you do here. And I am very glad because we got the support from the Subanan group. And mind you, I always, uh, well, I had a chance to meet Councillor Aida. Who is representing yes, the IPs. yeah IPs and uh, she's very supportive of us. And going back, I was digressing. So baju, that's another thing. Now there are different kinds of uh, events that uh, we really make it a point that will position the different culture that we have in Sambuanga City. And that's very important no, for us to really preserve the different culture in Sambuanga City. Yeah. So with that, um, we are happy no to look forward na makita talaga natin no kirigat kita mira kun el este ganet gayot el um the culture in Zamboanga city not just not just a festival of um colors but also um festival of culture no we celebrate culture during this time yes. you know uh Zamboanga city is really rich as far as cultural aspect is concerned and you know what i i am very glad because just uh, this morning I had a chance to meet with the director of uh, the Center for Culture of Arts and Arts of Ateneo de Zamboanga University and uh, hopefully we can establish a partnership because I really want them to help the city government, especially our office in the conduct of different cultural related activities and yeah, because we really want as much as possible to preserve our culture. And we are happy that you mentioned earlier that we are um, really engaging with uh, different sectors, including private sectors, artists, local oh, yeah. artists, designers, and that's uh, we collaborate with, with them for mm -hmm. us to be able to really promote and showcase our beautiful culture in Zamboanga City during this time, j this period of Zamboanga Mosa Festival. Yeah, indeed. And, uh, you know, this is... Uh this is one way for us to really promote the best that we have in Zamboanga. And it's my dream as your city tourism officer, I want the young people to really understand being a Zamboangueño. You may be a Christian or a Muslim, but once you're born in Zamboanga City and you've been staying here for the longest time, I want the young people to really understand what's, what's in Zamboanga City. 
So that when they go out of the city, they oh, can yeah. promote or they can be one of the ambassadors of Zamboanga exactly. City. So yeah. with that, ma'am, what do you think is the impact of celebrating Zamboanga Hermosa Festival every year? Number one, you promote uh, the acceptance of your constituents. You, 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 you do something for the locals to really appreciate what we have. That's, that's one of the intangible things that you achieve from here. Number two, the impact is that you get to attract people to come to Sambuanga City. In fact, I must tell you that as early as January of this year, talagang may mga nagtatanong na, Sarita, what will you have October? Sabi ko, bakit alam mo ang October? So sabi nga nila sa akin, eh may malaking billboard kayo sa Naiya. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, saw you saw that. it? Okay. Yes. So, yung billboard na yun, talagang, talagang naging impact siya for people to be curious about what we have in Sambuanga, especially for October. So, in a way, parang magnet siya. This different activities, this festival is like a magnet to people to come over. That's, that's true. Yeah. So, I believe, ma'am, I think we are uh, really pushing for the promotion of Zamboanga yeah. City Tourism. Kasi talagang visible nga tayo, yung visible yung ating mga promotions oh, yeah. and marketing See? for Zamboanga City. Yes, in fact, uh, we're participating in the different tourism-related uh, fairs. Uh, it's a travel, travel thing, you know. Uh, there's a travel fairs in different parts of the Philippines. Talagang andyan ang City Tourism Office. Sabi ko nga, I just cannot sit down here. Well, despite na uh, meron na tayong social media platforms, but kailangan rin nila ng warm bodies eh. So, we've been participating in different, kasi andyan ang mga tao. These are, you, you get to have the buyers, you get to have the, the sellers of the tours, you know. The reason why we attend the uh, travel or tourism travel fairs, because there's, that's where you get to meet the different travel and tour operators. So I'm not just I'm not just promoting Santa Cruz Island, blah blah blah. No, I am promoting the different tourism products of Zamboanga because if they ask you, okay, Sarita, what do you have in Zamboanga? So binabalik ko sa kanyang question. Ano bang gusto mo? Uh, sabi niya, can I do the bird watching in Zamboanga? Oh, see, yes, and uh, you know, uh, I think you saw my post on FB. We've had visitors, these are the wild bird photographers of the Philippines. And these are, if you saw their equipment, sweetheart, it's, oh my God, it's so mahal in nature, you know. And this is a certain group na talagang pagpupunta sila sa isang lugar, isa mga hente tagasta. Onde queda? Cosa sila quiere come? Cosa sila clase vehículo que quiere? Spend and that's where the tourism industry is very important. Because there's a lot money in the tourism industry. You count it all. Sa lahat ng mga pumupunta na sa buwan, hindi masi todo libre ni, tagasta sila. Pero so, you know, a lot. There's a lot that you can offer. Actually, tourism has a very big role in the economy. Oh of yeah of the city. And let's talk about tourism, uh, Ma'am Sarita, and especially that now we are really slowly recovering na talaga from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So how is the tourism industry in Zamboanga City? If you can um, compare it no, during the pandemic and now, how did we recover? And what are, how are yung mga plans natin, the plans for, like you mentioned earlier, the four areas of our tourism industry? Okay, number one, I'm very happy because our private sector, especially we have a group called the Hotel and Restaurant Association of Zamboanga. You know this group, they are really very active and they have been working with the government hand in hand on how to go through the recovery road from the pandemic. Okay, so the secret here is partnership. It's between the government and the private sector so that on the part of the government, siyempre, na-identify naman natin, based from the school, na-identify natin kung anong pwedeng magawa, di ba? So, little by little, uh, we did some policies 
to be implemented by the government, complemented by the private sector. Number one, remember during the pandemic, nawalan ng trabaho ang mga tao. And uh, thanks to some hotel operators who really made it a point na gumawa ng paraan just to hold on to their employees. You know, ang laking They're sacrificial. Really oh yeah. So when the when the restrictions were lifted, talagang itong tourism, we call them the tourism enterprises. Itong tourism enterprises, they made it a point na talagang paspasan na. So sabi ko nga, okay, are we go? Are we good to go? Sarita, okay na tayo, we can receive na. Alam mo yung ganun? So nung sinabi ko sa kanila, are you good to go now? Can you operate, uh, can you do the full operation? When they told me, yes, Sarita. So kami, hype up din kami, nagpo-promote na rin kami. And one of the contributory factor here is the conduct of the mice. This is the meeting, incentive conferences, and the uh, exhibits or events. If you notice, there's a lot of conferences, big conferences, workshops being done in Zamboanga City. And the least number of people is 300, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. So, i-compute mo yan. Sa isang buwan, ang dami. Ang daming pumupunta dito. So, how do I come in? I tell the organizers, make it a point, when you come to Zamboanga City and you do big events, like conferences, workshops, seminars, to a lot, at this half day, swerte na tayo pag full day, one day, so that your guests can go around. So that's where we come in. We design the tour, itinerary, and we assist them. Example, Sarita, we need a tour operator. Okay, we have, choose. Sarita, we need a transport provider. We have, choose. So, yeah, yan ang mga stakeholders natin sa tourism. And with, we, actually, I would like to emphasize, you mentioned na the secret is really partnership. Oh, yeah. Yes, and that's, I think we have a very strong partnership, the City Tourism Office, with our private stakeholders, especially the hotels, no? Yeah, we do. And in fact, uh, I still have to comply more because we will be organizing the different groups in the tourism industry. And later on, you know, we need to have the local tourism council so that members will come from, even the media will be there. Yeah. So with the increased number of tourists, visitors in Zamboanga City, what are the... Um measures being implemented for them to really enjoy Zamboanga and to really feel that they are safe and the security also in Zamboanga City. Okay, it's funny because a lot of our visitors when they come in, uh, especially to the airport, if you notice we have a booth there and uh, well I check on them every now and then my staff so I make it a point na you know they, they know what to answer so that's the first first uh, stop ng turista yan. Okay. So when they get to the hotel, the frontliners natin sa different hotels, at least they know what to answer to, right? Now, as far as uh, security is concerned, alam mo, kahit saan ka pumunta, if you're really a traveler and you don't know anything about the place, you always look for the tourism office. So yun ang sinasabi ko sa mga front, uh, frontliners natin sa hotels to really make sure if they don't know what to answer to the guest, really i-refer sa office namin. Now, overall, we try to make it a point that they get in touch with us. We try to make it a point for the local tourism office to be accessible. Because information is power. If they don't know anything about the city or anything at all about a certain city, so walang mangyayari. And yung takot niya, andyan pa rin yan. The perception will always be there. But then, you know, if we are accessible as an office, this somehow neutralizes yung negative uh, perception ng tao as far as the security aspect is concerned. 
And I think um, that's one of a uh, good strategies that we are doing yeah. na talagang i-refer sa city tourism because yeah. you really know what to say and how to really inform no yung ating mga guests and visitors. And also I can see that you you mentioned that information is power. I can see that our Facebook pages or the social media page po ng ating Turismo Local de Zamboanga is very active and very responsive. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thank you. That's that's very true kasi uh, as part of my experience also na active talaga yung ating social media which is a good platform for us to really communicate with our tourists and visitors. So with that po um Ma'am Sarita siguro ano na lang no. Lastly that what can we say to all uh, to all visitors or mga viewers natin outside sa Buanga City right now how can we really encourage them what what it what's in Zamboanga City? So how can we promote Zamboanga City to them? Number one, we have different kinds of travelers, okay? Okay. Briefly, a tourist is considered a tourist if the person sleeps overnight. Yes. That's the number one thing, huh? Don't forget that. Now, we are in the different social media platform. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, Twitter, and a lot more platforms. Now, the best thing for a tourist or would-be tourist to do is get in touch with us through the different platforms. If they have questions or whatever, things that they need to know, they can get in touch. You can get in touch with us because I have people who really, you know, make it a point to really answer. And uh, I'm very lucky because thanks to the Department of Tourism 9, because, you know, I attended a, a big conference in Bohol and it's about the social media thing. Yun ang sinasabi nila na if there's query, talaga you have to answer it. That's the only way people will appreciate you. So, we've had queries from the from people outside the city and I'm very glad because I have a social media team. They go around too to promote uh, to get some footages about the different areas that we have and uh, yeah. Like I said, for our would-be tourists, just get in, in touch with us on the different social media platform. Lastly, ma'am, a uh, siguro invitation di ato no na todo mga vivienta sa Zamboanga and of course um, our um, visitors uh, na nanonood na sa atin ngayon to invite them for our upcoming celebration de colores. Hola, buenos dias a todos. Mayung buntag, salamu alaikum. Magandang umaga po. Uh, good day to all. I'm inviting everyone to please be with us. Celebrate the different colors, the different culture in Zamboanga City during the Hermosa Festival 2023, which will run from October 1 to 15. Just check out our Facebook account, Turismo Local de Zamboanga. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much once again. We are so happy to have you again. No? Uh, aquí na diaton programa, we have Ma'am Sarita Sebastian Hernandez, the City Tourism Officer of Zamboanga City. Muchísimas gracias, Ma'am, na dito, na este oportunidad, no? Ya dali tu na mo, na na dito yu time. So thank you very much also to all our viewers. Thank you to the following sponsors. We have Blanca Calintica, Estetica, Karimadon and Camiseta, Penguin, and Arias Coffee and Tea, all available here at SM City Mean Pro. Sangalan po ng Philippine Information Agency, headed by Regional Director Ms. Noemi Edaga, ito po si Mayra Espinosa. Magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na linggo po. Muchísimas gracias y cuidado a ustedes.